Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, retired meteorologist. You know, lately it's been quiet in the tropics, but now Hurricane Fiona is causing tremendous hardship from Puerto Rico into the Caicos across the southeast portions of the Bahamas and is now passing to the north, heading toward the islands of Bermuda. It's going to pass well east of us. But what about the rest of the tropics and how's it looking for the last portions of September and October? Well, let's take a look. All right, let's take a first look at the satellite imagery. Here we are today, uh, Tuesday afternoon. We have fair weather across our region. There is Hurricane Fiona right now uh, over in the uh, Keiko Islands area and uh, to the east, southeast of the Bahamas. That, of course, is going to be moving up to the north, north east toward the islands of Bermuda, not affecting us, except it will generate strong swells across the uh, east coast of the United States, including our coast, Georgia and South Carolina. But further off to the east, we're looking at another system over here, uh, just to the north of the northern coast of South America. And this is a storm of interest. Now, if you go out and look at additional storms, there is, first of all, uh, Fiona. You have this wave over here, north of South America. And then you have another wave uh, now just to the east southeast of the uh, uh, Cape Verde Islands and then over in Africa he got more waves uh, one emerging off the coast other waves further inland and as a matter of fact we can switch satellites over to the European satellite there you can see uh, some of the waves you got uh, wave one wave number one right here wave number two here wave number three four five six and seven they are lining up so yeah the tropics are going to become active over the next several days, if not several weeks. You know, it's been kind of quiet lately, but uh, again, uh, we are now in the peak of the hurricane season and these waves are now getting more and more uh, active. Let's take a look at the computer models. First of all, uh, this is the uh, GFS, the global forecast system from the United States. And uh, I'm just going to be showing the, uh, uh, the Caribbean and the uh, Gulf of Mexico and the Southeast United States version. But there is Fiona right now, and if we go through the motion of forecast, you see Fiona gaining strength, possibly becoming up to a Category 4, approaching 5, but I don't think it'll reach 5, but there's Bermuda right there. And the storm uh, is going to be moving just to the west of the islands of Bermuda, and that's on the bad side of the storm, so that's not going to do Bermuda any good. But look at this storm over in this area here beginning to ramp up as it moves over those very warm waters of the Caribbean Sea. And over time, uh, this computer model has it uh, going just past Jamaica and then uh, cutting across the western tip of Cuba and ramping itself up to a hurricane. And then from there, uh, it brings it up into the northeastern Gulf of Mexico as a moderate-sized hurricane. And with that, we'll have strong southeasterly winds coming in off our coast if this is if, if this pans out to be true, and also very heavy rains. Uh, this is forecast for um, Friday, September 30th. Not this Friday, but September 30th. And then if we go forward on time, you can see it goes right up into central Georgia, uh, putting us on the east side of the storm, which is always the bad side of the storm. So we don't want this to happen, but that's what the, this computer model is forecasting. Well, what about some of the other uh, models? Let's take a look at the... Uh, uh, first of all, the, uh, the icon model, I believe that's the uh, German model. And uh, this only goes out to 180 hours or uh, about seven days. And it has uh, this storm ramping up in the same position uh, into the uh, uh, Western Caribbean Sea, uh, approaching the uh, Straits of Yucatan, moving toward the Gulf of Mexico. And this will be on Wednesday, September 28th. Uh, what about the Canadian models? You know, the Canadian models actually pretty good. You know, they get hurricanes and uh, Hurricane Fiona is going to be affecting New Brunswick and Nova Scotia uh, over the weekend. So, that, yeah, they see hurricanes. So their models are usually pretty good as well. And looking at the uh, forecast uh, for this wave it moving across the Caribbean, it moves a little bit further southward. And instead of moving it through the Straits of the Yucatan, it moves it across the Yucatan Peninsula which would cause it to weaken somewhat. 
and then it begins to turn a little bit toward the northwest but it just stays into the Bay of Campeche in the southern Gulf of Mexico uh, this is for Friday September 30th this is as far as the uh, uh, this model runs uh, 240 hours or 10 days and the ECMWF the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting also runs out to uh, 240 hours or 10 days and there once again there's Fiona there's the wave of interest right over here let's see what the ECMWF has to say and it shows the wave basically following the same path, uh, maybe just a touch south of what the uh, GFS model was showing. And it does have the crossing the western tip of Cuba on uh, Tuesday, September 27th, and then uh, moving up into the northeastern Gulf of Mexico on Thursday, September 29th. So it's a little bit ahead of the GFS model. And of course, this is not a good position either, right off the coast of Tampa, uh, could be moving off again toward the north, putting us on the east side of the storm. So, you know, these things aren't certain, but we are keeping an eye on them. These are the forecasts. Now, anytime you get beyond five days, you're really pushing your luck on these forecast models, but they have been getting better over the past several years. Uh, I can remember back in 1980 and uh, particularly in 1989 we had hurricane hugo the models were only good to about 24 to 36 hours so you know, we're getting some pretty good accuracy now beyond five uh, days to up to seven days so we're keeping an eye uh, on the tropics looking at the uh, uh, hurricane forecast uh, plots uh, this is from the south florida water management district and it shows this wave investigation number 98 uh, moving basically the way i just showed you with the different models and they're all tending to uh, cluster themselves over toward the western tip of Florida and then curving north into the northeast Gulf of Mexico. So something certainly to watch over the next several days uh, for this wave over here in the um, well, approaching the Caribbean. It's still to the uh, east southeast of the uh, Lesser Antilles Islands and the Windward Islands there. And uh, again, there is Fiona off to the north of us. Uh, now showing an eye so this is a very dangerous storm but it won't be affecting us other than the the swell that's going to be affecting the southeast coast over the next several days i'll be here with more coming up uh, over the next several days so keep it tuned to my youtube channel and uh, savannapat.name i will continue to watch the tropics for you and let you know whenever there could be a threat from the weather to our area you can find me on my website of savannapat.name or on my Weather and Nature Facebook page. That's Pat Prokop's Weather and Nature. And also on Twitter at Pat of Savannah. And also my YouTube channel, my Weather and Nature channel on YouTube as Patrick Prokop. And try to stay informed with these tropical threats by also tuning into your favorite local TV station and other reliable news sources. Meanwhile, you can catch me on my main YouTube channel of Heavenly Backyard Astronomy, where I post videos from my large telescopes outside from the garden looking at the planets, nebulae, and other distant galaxies. It's amazing what I can see from within the Heavenly Backyard Garden. So thank you for watching and see you later.